Aloha, this is Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. On a recent family trip to Florence, we decided to do a day trip to Venice. And just a week prior, I had contacted Ileana at Sup in Venice about going stand up paddling in Venice. And she agreed to not only go paddling with me, but also to take our whole group on a gondola ride, a gondolier lesson, and a ride on a traditional Venetian gondola, which was pretty awesome. This was at the gondola club launching and I was surprised how clear the water was. I could see the bottom. So I was kind of warned um, not to fall in because the water is so dirty in Venice, but surprisingly clean there, the water. So, But the canals are very tight and uh, it's just an incredible experience to be able to paddle here. This was in January and the temperature was just a few degrees above freezing, so it was pretty darn cold. And usually Eliana is closed for the winter, but she agreed to go paddling with us. Um, so I was pretty stoked that this is Eliana, that she would take us. And, uh, you know, it was cold, but once we started paddling, it kind of warmed up. Although, um, you know, on the feet, I just had some neoprene booties with wool socks. Kind of kept me warm. I was wearing a down jacket, but I took it off a little bit because it was actually quite warm once you started paddling. Um, I was on the 10 2 Easy, the, our 2015 inflatable model, the Easy Air, it's very stable, so definitely wasn't planning to fall in and wasn't really anywhere close to falling in, so that would not have been good that day to fall into that freezing cold water. So before we started, we got a little gondolier lesson on how to use the paddle. Um, you basically have to feather it very similar to a stand-up paddle by um, by Gloria, who, who is um, paddling the gondola. She's um, a very accomplished gondola paddler. All those red flags in the club were first place finishes at uh, gondola regattas. So she's like one of the top gondola racers, I guess, in Venice also. This canal here is only for paddling. It's kind of tight, no motorboats allowed. Um, and one of the things that you need to know is that you always pass on the left in Venice. You stay on the left side of the canal if there's traffic coming. So that blue sign above the bridge means um, that canal is only for gondolas or pad you know, paddle-powered craft, like a stand-up. And there's really no rules against stand-up paddling in Venice. You can do it on your own too. You don't need to take a guided tour, but I would highly recommend it. It's such a maze that you would I would have gotten instantly lost if I had tried to paddle around by myself. So, um, and Eliana is, she loves to paddle. She clearly loves what she's doing. And it's great to have a guide like that. It's kind of similar to what I'd like to do in Hawaii, take people and have a good time. Uh, this was the Grand Canal, which has the fanciest buildings on either side. Grand Canal is, um, you know, famous, uh, kind of meanders through the city, and then has a lot of side canals going off of it. So we all, everyone got to paddle the gondola too. So, and then afterwards we ended back back at the club. We had a Venetian traditional lunch, which was really neat, and then went on a little walking tour of the city afterwards, um, got to do a little sightseeing. This was a paddle maker. Um, all gondolas are handmade in Venice, and this is the guy that makes the paddles and the arms that hold the paddle, so it's a labor of love for sure, and you know, gondolas are only made in Venice. So a lot of little streets and alleys in, in Venice is very confusing if you don't know where you're going. Very easy to get lost there. Um, but it's an amazing city, so, so cool. But the canals and the bridges, uh, very easy to get stuck at a dead end and not knowing where to go anymore. Um, just uh, an amazing city. We ended up at the Piazza San Marco, which is uh, where usually where all the tourists end up. Um, but it was really cool to get to see a little bit of the city that the tourists usually don't get to see, but this this was definitely an impressive place to visit as well. I guess usually the Venetians avoid it. 
Um, this is one of the most famous bridges here, the Bridge of Sighs, where prisoners would get sent from the courthouse to the prison next to it. And yeah, thanks a lot, Ileana, for taking us out. If you're ever in Venice, you should definitely check out subinvenice.com. And if you're in Hawaii, check out our shop on Lord Avenue. Thanks for watching. Aloha.